Hi everyone! Thank you for watching this video. This is Sheva from Bear Mix Journals over at Instagram. For today, I have a very exciting share because this is my very first design team project for Rach and Bella Crafts. So um, Rachel has kindly asked me to be part of the design team for Rach and Bella. So um, I looked at all of the beautiful kits that they have. Prior to joining, I already used Rosie Blooms. So you will see that in a journal that um, I'll be posting soon. It's a yellow and green journal. And the Rosie Blooms kit has all of those beautiful um, blue, uh, greens, and yellow floral elements. So I used that before joining the design team. So when Rachel asked me, I thought, of course, um, because it's a good fit for me. Um, all of the kits that she has um, in the shop um, really fits my style, uh, I would say. And this particular kit that I use for this um, design team project is right up my alley um, and, and particularly for this month, uh, if you saw the last video that I posted, it's also a bugs and butterfly themed. I don't know, I ju I'm just really, really feeling bugs and butterfly for March. So I went with that theme again for this particular project share. So for this project share, um, I'll be showing you how to make these um, vertical um belly bands so it originally i thought to make them as uh, or to use them as belly bands for um you know your journal pages but you can actually also glue this to a side of the page and then turn it into a pocket or a tuck spot so they're very versatile you can use it um like that or you can just you know glue this to a page as um, an embellishment so this um, project is made using two different kits from Rachel and Bella Crafts. The first one um, is from the Shades of the Past. Um, that's where I got this uh, blue hearts. And then the bugs um, and butterflies that I use as well as the background paper are from um, the Imagine or, or Inspire Dragonfly kit. So those are the two ones that I used. And then um, this would be embellished uh, with washi. So I'll show you those later as well. And then I also added some diamantes um, in some of the butterflies just to give a little bit of interest. So those are the... Um, this, this will be the project share for today. And then, of course, I also embellished some ephemera to go inside those um, tuck spot and belly band and this is also from um, the two kits that I mentioned earlier so I'll show you those as well when we do the craft with me so those are what I made then let me show you uh, what I used so this is the kit so there's a uh, the logo for H and Bella Crafts. So this particular kit is uh, from the Shades of the Past kit. Um, Rach, uh, Rachel also creates um, this particular page in most of her digital kits. I remember Rosie Blooms also had um, a page like this where you know you have the hearts um, that you can cut out and use in the journal. Um, I think for Rosie Blooms, I also use this as a pocket. So I cut it out and then glued the bottom part of the heart and used it as a pocket for, you know, tiny tickets and all of those things. So we'll use those. And then this is the Inspire Dragonfly Kit. I really, really love this kit. It's so beautiful and unique. Um, so you have this page where you have the stamps and um, these tickets as well as these mini um, mini tags so we'll be using those to decorate the um, belly band so these small butterflies would be these ones and then to create the bigger um, bugs and butterflies what i did is i just used um part of the this kit and then i just printed them a little bit bigger 
so that we have those bigger um, bugs elements for our project for today so i have those we'll cut it out later as well and then of course i also printed some of the background papers from the inspire dragonfly kit you can actually cut these out as well and then use them as you know embellishments for your journal Maybe we'll cut out one of these. So instead of a butterfly, we have a dragonfly instead. Uh, look at this. So beautiful. So those are the kit. And I mentioned earlier that there are also ephemera included in the kit. So some of them um, would have these, like this tag, um, this journal card. And then there are also these smaller um, journal cards. And then... Um, there are also these labels that you can use in the kit. There's also smaller tags. Maybe we'll use these later as well. And then there's also this big um, sort of uh, fold out. We can use those. Um, we'll see how we'll use those. Um, later as we um, do the craft with me maybe you can make some ephemera later as well but to start off um, making these you would also need um, the washi I mentioned the washi and the diamante so I just have these for the diamantes and then for the washi i actually already have like a bunch of washies um cut out over here because when i'm stressed that's actually a um de-stressor for me is to cut out like these washi tapes so let me show you the um the washi that i used This is the washi tape that I used. So what I would do um, from time to time is just get out a strip from the roll and then just start cutting them. So that's what I have here in the back of the butterflies. And we'll use those later as well. Okay. So, the next part won't be too exciting, so I'll probably just um, speed this up. So, what you need to do is first cut out the elements that we will be using to put together our belly bands. So, let me um, do that and I'll come back to you. Alright, so this is what we have. I've got all of these uh, hearts from the uh, shades of the basket and then these are the bugs um, that i've got from the inspire dragonfly kit the ones that i've um, printed a little bit bigger and then these are the bugs the smaller bugs from the stamp um, from this one so these ones i didn't cut anymore i'll use them um, in some other way so from here it's just a matter of assembling them um, and picking the hearts that you will use so some of them are a little bit bigger so i like to use those as the middle maybe we'll use this one as the middle and then should we go with lighter ones So we can use that we'll use this for our next um, snippet or um, belly band and then from there it's a matter of um, assembling the the leaves the washi leaves and then in the background and then you know choosing the um, the 
bug that will go with them. So I'll um, start working on these and then I'll speed up some process, some parts of the process. Um, and But I'll talk, uh, talk you through the process on, of assembling them. So once you have them um, assembled in the cart, it's just a matter of um, attaching them to a piece of lace. So I just have this lace um, so that I can, you know, um, make sure that they all align. Like that. And adjust it to make sure that there are some lace peeking through I 
all right and then um i will also be adding some of these um uh, diamantes into some of the butterflies the smaller ones The diamond these are in looks like that so now I'm just going to attach these hearts to the lace and then attach them to a page um, from the inspire dragonfly kit um, and then I'll uh, show you how I put that together that's what we have and then you can choose to add it to a page maybe I'll choose a more simple page I'm just hand tearing the sides. And the other side. And then this next part is totally optional. Um, it's up to you. But um, what I did uh, with my um, sample is I did a zigzag um, stitch in the middle to attach the lace to the paper. But you can also just totally glue it. Um, um, that is purely decorative as well. So you can just glue this to this page but um, I'll be sewing this as well 
Alright, so I just um went to my sewing machine to do this zigzag stitch in the middle to attach um this bit to the background paper. So that's it. Uh that's um how I made these um belly bands, vertical belly bands that could be used as a pockets as well for your journal. So how I would be using this for example, um, if this is your journal page and you have it in the middle like that, you can attach this to the middle and then you can add in an ephemera inside like that, another one, so you can add two or you can also just glue this to the side like that and then turn it into a um, duck spot your ephemera hanging out like that so that's it uh, for this video my very first video for Rachel and Bella crafts hopefully um, you like uh, watching this video and um, you'll try it uh, and, and try making some of these yourselves Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Um, please subscribe if you haven't and see you in the next one.